And you, I heard Michael say many times, you got to kill the Buddha along the way. And it's kind of that thing, you have to eventually stop, you know, linking yourself to the tradition so you are really authentic in your own being. And I walked away from my tradition for seven years. I didn't do it. I, you know, it was very clear. I need to break all ties. Mm -hmm. I didn't see how it would help for awakening. And for no other reason, I wanted to do anything. I, the only thing I wanted to do is help people be free. And I didn't see how this work could help people be free. I saw how it helped people in life, you know, live better lives. But that doesn't get you free. And that's what I wanted for people. And so. I broke with my tradition. I forgot everything. I didn't even have words to speak about it. And was actually pushed by Michael and by, you know, Ping to do it. And it took them for several months to work on me until I said, okay, I give up. <laughs> Let's try it. But, you know, and so it came back to me. I, I had to reject it because I didn't see how it was useful. I spent seven years not seeing any point to it, and then it came back to me on its own on new terms. And I think that's what it means, kill the Buddha. You have to break the ties where you came from. And if it comes back to you, then you can embrace it in a whole new, much more holistic way.